Mike the Darlington Goon has been back on again. Hi, Jeff oh, and Ali. excellent. He said, I would love to see the original Crystal Maze back again. He said, according to the missus, it was my fault it got cancelled in the first place. <laughs> very good. <laughs> very good, mate. OK. A couple uh, of obvious ones. Good ones coming back yeah. here. Only Fools and Horses and Still Game. Did you ever watch Still Game, the Scottish no, one? No. Hilarious. No, I didn't. Genius. I didn't. Um, I mean, the issue is, one or two people do mention, and they're right, of course, when you bring these shows back... They're never quite the, the same, same, are they? Yeah. Which is um, a bit disappointing. But yeah. you never know. We're talking about which show would you like to see back? Absolutely on your screens, but at its peak as well. Um, I'm told that Manimo, uh, Sean tells me this, was Patrick Duffy in his 20s with webbed feet and fingers <laughs> and he could swim like a fish. I thought, no, that was, was that no man for Atlantis? He was. Uh, he was man from Atlantis, wasn't he? No idea. Simon, the Newcastle fan, some mothers do have him. I think a lot of people would like to see uh, that as well. Look, um, let's take a little time out for this, shall we? Ask me, ask me, ask me. Are you winding me up? No, I'm deadly serious. You know where the creator of the Ru Rubik's Cube came from? Came from Czechoslovakia. So there you are, have some of that. You need to introduce me to this tinder, is it dangerous? You're a pair of numpty, so you are. Let's be having you! Let's, Let's be having you! Oh gee, was I? You were only supposed to blow up a bloody dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I've nailed it, man, I've nailed it. I'm glad I'm not sitting in your oh. seat right now. Um, do you know what I'm going to so do? I'm, I'm just going to follow you every day. Carry uh, on. Okay. Because you stunned the listening millions yesterday, or some of them anyway, by saying you don't think Bakayo Saka is world class. I, I said he was world class. Somebody tweeted me last night. He said, you're only saying that to agree with Ali. <laughs> uh, or to disagree with Ali, I beg your pardon. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I've got a few names to throw at you. You can tell us whether they are indeed world class. Okay. Right. Cole Palmer. Probably, or arguably, the best player in the league at this moment in time. Since absolute phenomenal goal-scoring return and assists. Not done it for long enough. Not world-class. That's Yet. what we talked about yesterday, it's wasn't it? It's got a bit longevity. About longevity. Uh, and, and, and just to let you know, they're all going to be the same, probably, but yeah. carry on. William Saliba. One of the best centre-backs in the country. Probably Europe, if not the world. Not done it for long enough yet. The fact of the matter, he's only recently got into the French side. Not yet described as world class for me. Jude Bellingham. Outstanding young talent. Didn't have a great Euros, to be brutally honest with you. Has the potential and I believe will go on to be world class. Not right now. Mm. Erling Haaland. That's an interesting one. Yeah, that's one. an interesting one. <clears throat> he's the nearest one at a lot of them for me <clears throat> at this moment in time, which is incredible. To say, but still get a little bit to go, in my opinion, to be held up with the greats as world class. Mm. But pro out of the lot of them, he's probably the nearest, and it's amazing because he is world class or will be world. I think will be remembered as being world class at putting the ball in the back of the net, which is completely different to most of the others that we've mentioned. And um, Manny Dizrouve. <laughs> world class <laughs> <laughs> Well I tell you what He might not be world class But he is different class In terms of the National League Of course Who in the Premier League then Is world class Salah mm -hmm. Straight away um, De Bruyne Yeah agree Would get it for me Possibly Rodri um, Just thinking out loud here you could have question marks over likes of Van Dijk and Alisson and people like that that they'd certainly come into the equation. I think Van Dijk over the years has been world yes. class, hasn't yeah. he? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm well, more than willing to accept that. Yeah. But uh, it's, a, it's a conversation that, uh, you know, everybody, would, you know, you'll have a different opinion on it. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. But uh, as I said yesterday, the key for me, there has to be an element of brilliance over a long period of time for me yeah. to be called world class. Yeah, um, and then somebody's texted him. It looks like Nottingham Forest fan. Uh, I'll tell you if Cole Palmer is world class when I can find him in Ryan Yates's pocket. 
That's obviously yeah. from the weekend. I'm so... Look, everyone's got different opinions about it, that is for sure. Uh, Salmon in Newcastle wants to see Blackadder back on our oh, screen. Oh, that was, G- that was that brilliant, was wasn't fantastic. it? Fantastic. Wasn't yeah. that fantastic? Wonderful. Um, here's another topic for you. John Duran yesterday signed a new contract with Villa until 2030. He scored six in ten this season. How much would you say he was worth? Oh, dear me. <sighs> you, somebody would... <sighs> He's worth what somebody would pay for him, and it's mm. probably about forty million. For, I don't know. Would you go more? Maybe. For, uh, I don't yeah. think I'd go more at the moment no. because you know well, he's scored a few goals. He's no goals coming off the bench, you know. Yeah. But, um, he's, he's looked he's looked tremendous coming off the bench, and uh, you can argue that. I mean, Ollie Watkins works tirelessly, probably tires out the defenders mm. that he's playing against, and I understand it's a it's a kind of it's a catch twenty two situation for. for for Unai Emery because he's looking at the situation and for him to play the two of them which people will obviously clamour for a lot of people will he'll have to change his setup, I would think and I'm not sure he'll want to do that so it's an interesting conversation to have because at this moment in time it be interesting to hear the Villa fans because this, at this moment in time I'm, I'm actually still starting with Ollie Watkins up front mm. yeah completely yeah I don't think you can leave him out. You no, know you what can't. he's achieved over the last I don't think couple so. of seasons. Rob, the Spurs fan, says Son, world class. What do you think? Cool. Mm. Well, the fact of the matter is not recently, but over the career, over he's on the cusp. He, oh, yeah, that's a difficult one. He's on the cusp. Um. No. Mm. Emmy Martinez. Okay, um, Elliot, the Arsenal fans, said, for me, world-class means they would walk into any sign globally, in which case all those mentioned players do. Whoa. I'm not sure that all those players no. that you mentioned would walk into any sign globally. I'm not sure. I do agree with the concept. Yes. World-class means they would walk into any sign globally, but I'm not sure every player that we threw at Coisty there would walk no, into any side. No, I don't think so. Side. Well, we've mentioned two goalkeepers right away, so... Yeah. Paul's at Queen's Park Rangers fan. He says, world-class equals... Adult wrapped. Uh, I think we'll leave that one with you, Paul. You know, the talent of footballer, wasn't he? I, t- I tell you who they like him. Neil Warnock loved him, didn't he? Oh, absolutely I, I, loved him. Remember when he w- walked out of a game, I think, at one stage? Was he substituted? And he, he got on the bus as it was going past the ground, still in his kit. <laughs> <That's laughs> I'm an, not sure it's true or this not. This is an interesting one, actually, from, from John and Cheltenham. And he's probably got a point. With respect to Ali, I think he's describing the best players of all time category. Um, and I might be doing that, John. Yeah, absolutely. I might be blinkered and doing that. I personally, cons- he personally considers world class as whoever you'd put into a world eleven currently. Right. Yeah, that, that's fair. That is very, very fair. And yeah, that, that, that's a probably better way of looking. That, that's probably a better question. Would they get into a world eleven right now? So that uh, you know, and if if that and, and that's John's interpretation of it, that makes them world class. That's a different question, a different well, we, concept. We, we might revisit it then yeah. a bit later. Talk sport breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from six a.m. on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.